Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for February 14th, 2020. Happy Valentine's Day. I have kind of a funny thing to share with you because we're going to pull several cards here. Um, I've got a little, well we have our regular card here and then I have like these love notes cards. We're going to pull some romance, angel cards, but Here's what's so funny, and I wanted to share this with you. Let me move this card for just a second. So I went over to my shelf to go get, you know, my little romantic decks, and I saw this thing. So this is a headband that <laughs> I, I was visiting Santa Fe. I forget when that was. I think it was June, back in June, end of June of 2019. And I ended up walking into Pride. Pride Parade. I had no idea it was happening. Walking through, it was just like chaos. It was so hot that day, like well over 100 degrees. And um, ended up meeting these really beautiful people. If you guys are watching, hi. <laughs> um, and this little headband, they were giving these out for Pride at this restaurant that we all ended up going to. And I just remember that day so fondly. And actually, one of the waitresses, she had this tied on her hair in this way and so I asked her to tie mine around my hair so my hair could look like hers it was just a funny memory and it was just I always I forgot I kept this I forgot I kept this and it just happened to be laying on top of my romance <laughs> romance uh cards and it just brought up such a beautiful fond memory from a very fun time and if you're like why the heck did you just share that I, because I wanted to because it really lit up my heart that day just everybody being really cool and kind to one another. And I just love moments like that. So anyway, for today, we have Brazilianite flexibility. So there's the card, yes. And so this is saying, don't be too rigid on expectations <laughs> in your life. You know, that headband, or what is that? It's like a scarf or something that I just showed you. Uh, that day, I was supposed to head back home. It was my last day in Santa Fe. And I was going to get into the car and just start my long drive back to Colorado Springs. Instead, I went with the flow. I had some flexibility when I met some really cool people and they asked if I wanted to go grab some dinner and a drink. I went and did it. I stayed flexible and it ended up being one of the most joyful days. I didn't plan to run into the pride parade, right? Or the pride festival at that point. I don't think there was a parade going on. It was a festival at that point. Um, there's actually, now that I think about it, there's a little rainbow heart sticker on my computer because everybody else got stickers except me. So I met this person who was at the festival and she gave me one of her stickers. It was just really cute. It was just a fun day where everybody was connecting. But the reason why that happened was I remained flexible. We also have green here, which as we all know is the heart chakra, <laughs> right? So this is a day no matter what it means to you, if you're like a giant mush ball like me, I love, I love Valentine's Day. It was one of my favorite times when I, I think I tell this story every stinking year, so <laughs> please forgive me. My favorite time of year was to, in, in grade school, we would uh, get the white paper bags and we would use, you know, pinks and red crayons and draw all over them and have stickers all over them. And then we would tape them to, we had chalkboards back then the chalkboard or the chalk tray and we would have our names on the bags and we'd have to come in and do the sharing cards and sometimes there would be candy and it was just so much fun. And the reason why I really love Valentine's Day, yeah, it's connected to that sort of childhood memory of being in elementary school and having that every year. But it seemed like Valentine's Day was the day when I was a kid when everybody was friends. Everybody was nice to everybody else. I don't know why that was, there was never any popularity contest. It wasn't like when kids would come in with little Valentines to share. I mean, they had one for every single kid in the class. It wasn't as if they just brought one for their friends or for the little boy or girl they have crush on. Everybody was sort of equal on that day. Now, I have to give my teachers credit for that because <laughs> they were very big on not being, uh, you know, being stuck up about other kids. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to shuffle this other deck. Comment down below, what does Valentine's Day mean for you? And please don't be nasty. If you're just a nasty, bitter person, I mean, I love you. I really do. Stay flexible, okay? You never know what could happen for you. So I'm getting the little love notes cards. Let's see what we have. Okay. 
do, do. Oh, got all kinds of cards. Got <gasps> cute. <laughs> so the number on here is 19 and it says love empowers. So that's love of all kinds. It doesn't even have to be partnership. It really doesn't. Love expands. Number is 34. It reduces to seven. So that is a beautiful angelic number right there. Love expands. Fit as many in here as we can. <laughs> oh, I should have brought some love crystals over. Oh, well. They're everywhere in my home. I have to pull them out and get them all collected in one area. <laughs> so expand your consciousness through love and connection. That's why I love Valentine's Day. It's all about connection and being empowered, right? There you go. 15, love returns. Oh, that, oh. See, I just thought we were gonna get some little generic messages today. Let's, let's look at that. Let me get a clarification thing here. Love waits. Oops. <laughs> I just wrecked my whole little set. There you go. Um, so the number on there is 18. Love waits. Love returns. And we are, are we in Mercury retrograde? I don't think it retrogrades just yet, but we're definitely in the shadow, right? <sighs> You're getting them. Look at that. Look at that. Those are letters coming in the mail. That is like somebody uh, getting getting back to you and coming back to you. So that could be the return of a love interest. And the fact that it's right underneath this Love Empowers card, look at the image on that. Look at that. So, and you have to let it grow. Don't, don't be impatient. Okay. Someone might reach out to you today. Just be careful. For some of you, they're reaching out because they want to control you again. That, I, that message is there for a few of you. Um, but this could just be a reconciliation. Love waits. Whatever comes forward was worth waiting for. I got to get more of these cards because I don't get to use them enough. <laughs> They're so freaking cute. Look at that. Love trusts. Aw. You're figuring out how to open your heart. You're trusting your instincts now. Yes. <gasps> Love heals. Okay. So the number on there is 31. The number here is 30. Look how cute. Love heals. Let yourselves be healed by what happens today okay so let me plop that down let's get the romance angels cards let's see pull a couple of cards from this as well oh there's a card wanting to flop right out chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here now i do want to make it clear if you have somebody who's pretty toxic from the past and you guys had a toxic dynamic that's not what we're talking about here we don't want to bring somebody back in just because we want someone. But this could be a second chance. Definitely. And for some of you out there who are partnered off and maybe things have kind of been a little rough between the two of you for a little bit, wait for things to turn about. Because, you know, if you remember the cards from underneath, that was like love expands, love heals. Let yourselves be healed and stay optimistic. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance yes but if you want romance you have to you know i've done this myself guys where i'm like yeah i want love i want love i want love and the second comes around i'm like this is terrifying i want out i want out i want out <laughs> right so you know again staying flexible uh, allowing chemistry to be expressed allowing yourself to be healed allowing yourself to expand now it doesn't have to be romantic love today if you're somebody's like no i don't like the pressure of valentine's day I actually, you know, I choose to do like self-love, self-healing kind of thing. By all means, do it. By all means, do it. So and make it special for yourself. Whatever it is that you want, go and treat yourself. I know in the past, well, like when I lived in New York City, um, I would get together with my single gal pals and we would all go out to a really phenomenal dinner. And just, and we didn't complain. We didn't, you know, we didn't do that whole like, I feel it's toxic. You have any opinion you care to. But that whole thing of like the anti-Valentine's Day. <laughs> if you want to have the anti-Valentine's Day because of the commercialism behind it. I mean, cool. I mean, whatever. But if you're putting that top. Oh, I just bumped my lamp. <laughs> Oops. If you're putting that toxic energy behind people. Because you want, you don't want anybody else to be happy because you're not happy. You better watch it. That's going to Hi, honey. It is 2020. Okay. It's going to come knock you in the face. <laughs> right. So be careful around that. I want to pull one more card. Mm, look at that. Getting to know each other. Uh, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And as I'm doing this little reading here, I don't think that will pick up on the mic, but there are jets 
going overhead. I'm in Colorado Springs. It's like Air Force City, USA. Can you hear it? It's kind of loud. <laughs> and yes, they're fighter jets. So, you know, take that as you will. But when I started hearing that, I was like, ooh, it's taking off. It almost gave me, even those, those aren't um, commercial jets out there, it, it gave me the feeling of taking a romantic trip or just go treat yourself to, if you're single, go treat yourself to a day at the resort. That's one of my favorite things to do. You'd be surprised. Sometimes you can, you know, set something like that up or buy yourself a little box of chocolates or whatever. And if you're like, no, that's so pathetic. No, it's pathetic when your friends who are all, it's not even that pathetic, but I'm just saying, I have felt that it's pathetic in the past when my friends who are paired off and they're all going off to their romantic dinners or whatever, they bring me a little box of like, a little box of Godiva's and they're like, here you go. Cause you're sad here. <laughs> like, sit at home and eat your candy. Like, <laughs> Oh God, you know, that's bad. But empowerment, that's what it's all about here. Okay. But I wanted to get back to, it feels like some of you might be taking a little romantic trip. It might be a short little road trip. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up out in Aspen. You know, I might do something like that, or maybe I'll go out to Vail. I mean, Breckenridge, I'm, lucky enough to live in Colorado. So <laughs> those are options. You know, leave this day for the free flow of the unexpected. Remember the story I told you, and, and that day was so profound to me that I actually kept the little headband. <laughs> like I kept a headband from that day right on my bookshelf, right next, to, uh, inadvertently, I didn't mean to, right next to the romance cards and the decks that I have. So leave your comments down below. Let me know how this day plays out for you and be you know, be honest and just say, hey, I'm having a wonderful day or, hey, I'm single and this is what I'm doing or, hey, I'm in a partnership and this is what I'm doing or, hey, you know what? I feel a little down today. I know I'm supposed to be empowered, but I can't pull myself out of it. You know, I mean, please try to give yourself that chance at joy, even if it is going to your favorite movie or, you know, go ahead and have cake or... <laughs> If you, if it's safe for you to eat cake, you know, whatever it is, leave the energy open. You know, I mean, I met some very special people that day in Santa Fe. And yes, there may have been, I, I don't want to say too much, but there might have been somebody. <laughs> and well, actually, I met a couple of somebodies who I was like, oh, I could, I could date you. I could, hmm, okay, this is interesting. And it was just all because I stayed open and I let my plans be very flexible. It was like a big party. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyway, we're just going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.